everyone, and welcome to today's We're going to be looking at uh, Cytec SCADA 2018, um, a bit of a release update and a roadmap. My name is Tim Harrison, and I'm a Solutions Architect with Solutions PT. So what we'll be covering today is uh, some of the trends and standards that we're seeing in our industry, uh, then an overview of some of the key features of Cytec 2018, a quick look at a project that we upgraded to Cytec 2018, uh, what's coming next in the release of Cytec Cytec 2018 R2, and then some changes that have been made to the Cytec Global Support website. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. So here are some trends that are leading to an increase in human error within uh, our processing facilities. Uh, essentially, processing plants are becoming uh, larger and more complex. We're also seeing smart equipment bringing more data into the control system. Uh, there are increased levels of automation, which can actually make things quite difficult for operators when trying to resolve uh, any plant disturbances. Staffing and education continues to challenge this industry. And we're also seeing more remote operations being included within the plant-wide control systems. So the ASM Consortium, uh, Abnormal Situation Management Consortium, uh, actually selected the top three causes of abnormal situations occurring in a plant and found that human error contributes to 42% of the abnormal situation causes. And when we look at a definition of what an abnormal situation cause is, it's actually a disturbance or a series of disturbances that actually may cause plant operations to deviate from their normal operating state. So an example of a typical mimic, and to be fair, I've probably drawn a few of these in the past, um, it has great use of color and lots of objects, but all this is really doing is distracting the operator from noticing the important information. Whereas if we go now to the new situational awareness mimic, the important information becomes a lot clearer. So the three key features of Cytec 2018 are providing a context-aware workspace where we provide templates for both HD and Ultra HD screen resolutions. The context is navigation-driven and provides multi-monitor support and includes uh, faceplates um, and information uh, that, that obviously gets updated when you select a certain piece of equipment. It also includes a comprehensive library uh, of symbols and faceplates, both that can be applied to either greenfield or brownfield projects. And alarm management uh, in the line with MUA 191, where shelving of alarms can be done as well as priorities and alarm borders showing on the uh, mimic screen. So Cytec went out and engaged with a company called Acute in Perth, Western Australia, um, who actually specialized then in uh, Some of you might be wondering, what is Well, it's actually concerned with the applying scientific knowledge about human performance to then create a better fit between people and technology. In addition, the symbols also needed to align with the ISA 101 standard. So here are a few examples of some of the symbols that basically have been um, added to the library that both have been um, designed with uh, providing all the information relevant to an operator that's in context and obviously uh, as a template or a symbol that can be applied to your projects. In addition to this, it was important that multi-monitor support allowed the operator to have, a, in this example, a pump on the left-hand monitor. And upon selecting that pump, not only do the faceplate and the alarms appear, but also additional diagnostic information and instructions can actually appear on the second monitor. So now let's have a look at Cytec 2018. Here we have um, the example project where you can see the main content page 
then navigation faceplate and information zone, we are able to then, as we select the various pieces of equipment, whether it's the level uh, instrument or the temperature sensor or even the pump, the faceplate as well as the alarms are being shown in context. Um, I see all the, all the information I need to see relating to that instrument. I can then acknowledge and shelve alarms. I can also then, if there are any trends associated to that piece of equipment, I can click on the trend tab and be shown the, uh, the specific values. If I now navigate to my alarm page, here I have a list of all the alarms which I can filter on those priorities, one, two, or three. I can also find any alarm in my plant model and then start to filter out on either pieces of equipment or actually areas to be able to get a clearer picture of the alarms that are happening. I'm also able to look at any calls and responses that may actually be relevant to a specific alarm so that the operator can take further action. And from the alarm page, I can navigate back to my mimic. So let's now have a look at what situational awareness would look like in a multi-monitor environment. So here I have um, Cytec 2018 spread across two monitors. I could also have four monitors. Now, monitors support is not new to site, but what is is the ability to really change your monitors and then saving that profile as a, as a screen profile for later use. So let's go and have a look at that. So here I can add multiple monitors, I can change the resolution, and then arrange my monitors as they actually are in the control room. I can then save these as various profiles and then allocate them to a specific machine, um, whether it be an engineering machine or a control room PC. Next, we're going to actually have a look at the graphic symbols. Um, what's very powerful now is that I can take a pump symbol and quickly and easily change it into a compressor symbol. I can change orientation, the uh, label, even add certain additional features, and then it's all done for me without having to recreate that graphic and relink it to the tags. The same can be done to this level indicator, I can change it to a temperature. Um, I can also uh, add a display trend, uh, a trend tail, and basically that change is also then made. So very, very quickly, you can go through your mimics and make the uh, that are needed. In runtime, there's various meters now come from the same composite DME. So whether it be an analyzer, a flow, or pressure, it really is just selecting that from the drop-down box. And the same can be said about the valves, drives, and additional symbols. So in summary, we're actually conveying important information without distracting the operator. It is quite easy, easy to see that from the two symbols, you can see that the reclaim on the left is um, operationally more efficient than the symbol on the right. Um, and the same can be said about the polo stars. At the one on the right, you can see that SD3 is, the PV is pulling much further past the set point. And we're obviously very careful with the use of colors. So again, not distracting the operator. We can also apply this concept to your existing symbol. So we can supply alarm borders and have indicators on these symbols and still use the context aware workspace. So bringing it all together, by adopting the situation awareness project, I have access to all these, these features that you see listed here. 
But as most of you will probably still be using existing projects, by including the situational awareness projects into your existing project, you also will be able to maintain your existing standards, but leverage the uh, alarm borders, shelving, context aware. We have covered the upgrading of CITEC to CITEC Scholar 2018 in previous webinars. But as you can see from this slide, a direct upgrade from any version from 5 through to 2016 can be directly upgraded to CITEC 2018. So if we now just take a look at a project that was recently upgraded uh, in, in the Netherlands, this is a existing mimic or previous mimic of their booster stations. Um, and what we was then provided for in 2018 was this mimic. And in, a, in what you've seen before, selecting that pump would then update their face plate alarm and, and trend information areas. But one thing to note is that you can see that this face plate is slightly different to those that you saw before. So again, even though Scientec provides these face plates out the box, it does allow you to customize and configure these face plates um, more specifically to your application. If we have a look at the filtration mix, again, this was the old, the old look, and if we move over to the new look. So straight away, it is very easy on the operating eye, very clear the information that's being displayed um, from these two members. Our final summary of Cytex Skyder 2018, it helps you to reduce the engineering costs, certainly boosts operator awareness, and drives productivity and efficiency. I'd like to now touch on a few of the new features coming in the next release of Cytex, uh, which is called Cytex Skyder 2018 R2. Decided to integrate the graphic symbol and graphic pages into Cytex Studio. This allows you now to browse all your genies, graphics, um, and even see how many times a graphic is used in that project. We're also able to leverage the cloud solution, Viva Insight, uh, with Cytex Spider 18 R2. And we do that by now providing historian integration natively within Cytex Guider 2018 R2. So from the graphic management point of view in Cytex Studio, the screenshot is showing you that you can basically browse your project and your include project graphic files and symbols, genies and super genies. And actually again, like I've said, you see how times it has been used. So if you quickly have a look at a brief video, so I'm navigating now to my pages screen where I can see all my mimics. I can do a search quite easily by searching on the word meter, or if I'd like to, I would start with HD 1080. And I can then open multiple pages just by clicking and clicking the open button. If I now have a look at my system, if I enable my system projects, I can then access my include projects associated with that project. I'm also able to look at my libraries. And again, I can also enable my system libraries so that I can better access all those symbols within them. Again, I have the breadcrumb count just to let me know how many times that is being used in my project. So Cytex Guider 2089 also provides us with the ability to historize Cytex data into the Aviva Insight Cloud Historian. This is done using a publisher, and we'll be covering this in a 
future webinar on how to achieve this. Additional features like being able to move the graphics with your keyboard arrow keys has been something that has been asked for for a while, as well as being able to manually enter the size and position of the graphic, better helping you to uh, precisely position those graphic symbols. Uh, security improvements have been made within the R2 release, whereby the communication between server and client is now encrypted. CT API authentication now provides much more secure connectivity for remote clients. And some functionality has been depreciated in order to make Cytec more secure. I'd like to now touch on some changes that have been happening with the Cytec Global Support website. Some of you might already recognize this is what the previous Cytec support uh, would look like. Um, there was correspondence sent out last year in 2018 about this all moving to a new uh, portal, and that portal is https software support .aviva com. When logging in, you'll be presented with this new look and feel for the global support website. And I'd like to just touch on a few of the tools that will be very useful to most of you. What I'd like to start off with is accessing the product hub and the connectivity hub. So if we now have a look, so I'm searching for any sort of software downloads. I click into the product hub. I am then from here with my checkbox selected on Cytec, I'm able to view some of the more, more, more recent software updates. I can view documents associated to Cytec. If I'm looking for any Cytec driver downloads, I could click there or I can actually access this from my connectivity hub. Connectivity hub has a, stores all the Cytec drivers that um, have been obviously released with Cytec at the latest revisions. Um, I could always click through a checkbox selection for the device manufacturer, or I could in fact search ABCLX. And upon clicking on ABCLX, I will not only have access to the latest driver version, or I can access previous versions. The next topics I'd like to look at is the technology matrix. This is where details around a specific software version of Cytec can be provided for, including the and database compatibility. So now search for the word Cytec. I can select, search or select any Cytec version. In this case, I'll select that. And from here, I can see what's new in Cytec Scada. I get some additional information regarding the release date, support lifecycle. I'm presented with the OS compatibility, time compatibility, browser and virtualization compatibility, coexistence, and product integrity. If I now move on and have a look at the tech notes or frequently asked questions, if I go now select into that, I can start to search for any word on the title, any tech note number, and browse through that. License activation is very, um, very handy now brought into the Cytec support. If, I've, if I am on support and I would like to up Cytec license key, I can come here, enter the serial number, and then generate the authorization code. I can also access the latest CIU safe downloads or floating license manager download.
Security Central is where Fnatic has been tested with the latest Microsoft software updates, and reports of this can be provided. Cybersecurity updates are also included, and policy and guidelines. The community is where forums uh, such as the driver web uh, in the CITIC community and the toolbox are all now located. So you can obviously access all the chat and forums that are currently happening. And lastly, the training center provides on-demand training whereby you can browse for various courses and do them in your own time. So that brings us to the end of our webinar. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much.